Hi everybody, it is October 24, 2017. <laughs> I just got this uh, link in an email from a subscriber at the same time that I was doing research on this November 4, all of these protests called, uh, called by Antifa protests in major cities around the country to get rid of the Trump-Pence regime. But I found this interesting. Police blare sirens to drown out word of November 4 outside high school. Now, this is on the Revolutionary Communist Party USA's website. So, I'm uh, kind of, well, I can't say that what they are claiming the police did in Chicago outside the Kenwood High School if it is factually correct, but I think it's interesting that here we have on October 19 at Kenwood Academy High School, Kenwood students after school uh, organizing, talking, handing out flyers and stickers on this November 4 protest. High school students high school students. What makes me sick is that they are being exploited. They have no idea what they are doing. They think that they're doing something good. They think they're standing for justice. But they have been so unbelievably propagandized by adults, by mainstream media. I'm sure they think that Trump is bringing in fascism uh, and they're going to be going out to these protests and they could very well turn quite violent and these high school students can end up getting harmed. This is so outrageous. But who are some of the other adults? Well, a lot of speculation that Clinton is behind this uh, Antifa, all of these protests. George Soros, there's evidence that he is, yeah, behind a lot of the funding of Antifa. But Antifa calls for violent overthrow of U.S. government on November 4th. So a subscriber left a comment below my video, one of my videos today, um, getting people emailing me about November 4. And I did try to find something uh, that confirmed for me that these protests are going on. So. I do believe that they're going on. Uh, this is an Antifa uh, poster that people are hanging up. November 4, it begins. This nightmare must end. The Trump-Pence regime must go. No, in the name of humanity, we refuse to accept a fascist America. Do people not know that Antifa is a communist that, that this is a communist tactic to cause a lot of chaos and violence in a, a country to bring in communism? Do they actually think that Antifa is anti-fascism? And how is it that anybody could think that Trump comes into office and suddenly fascism is like the latest rage in America? Everybody coming out of the woodwork. All of these white supremacists and fascists and neo-Nazis Really? They're unable to see that this is orchestrated by, no doubt, the Clintons, but certainly George Soros? Unbelievable. The crimes of the Trump-Pence regime and how to be a part of driving them from power, November 4. Uh, <laughs> really, the crimes of the Trump-Pence regime as if there were no crimes committed during Clinton's regime, Obama's regime, two Bushes, their regime. No, it's just Trump. And how can the liberal Democrats not be screaming their criticism of Antifa? Oh, that's right, they love Clinton. So Clinton, yeah, and Obama, they weren't criminals. Trump is, though. Jesus, how unbelievably stupid is our population? 
So um, this is anonymous, Antifa planning nationwide anarchy on November 4. Yes, both sides are being pitted against one another, funded by the same organizations, Marxist organizations, George Soros, and no doubt the Clintons. But um, <laughs> the reason why I'm posting this is because I did say it in the first video that I posted about a month ago about this November 4 call for uh, really uh, nationwide anarchy? No, it's not anarchy. It is going to be uh, civil war, violence, chaos. And that video, which I'll link to below, there was evidence that Antifa was calling for beating up white people on November 4. So it might be a good day for everybody to just stay inside. But uh, yeah, actually this uh, writing is quite right. Here, what are we even doing here in 2017 allowing activists to be divided on the same old lines of left versus right? Well, because the divide and conquer strategy works because people don't know what is going on and they don't know that there are very wealthy people behind the scenes orchestrating all of this. They get so easily manipulated. We're not really allowing activists to be divided. We're not in control of other people's opinions. No matter what people do to mediate the situation, many people are falling for this same divide. People are being sucked into a black hole. A vacuum of thought, clearly, there is no thought. I mean, they're just screaming insults at people. But a vacuum of thought and energy that is becoming this tired dichotomy of God. Antifa versus all right. But I'm going to go back to these high school students, they being exploited. And that is what really angers me. Um, I will link below to this article, November 4, Refuse Fascism, which is Antifa's uh, main website, I believe. Um, it's an Occupy Wall Street redo funded by Soros and Marxist organizations. And you can read about where Antifa is being funded from and many hyperlinks to further information that supports what what they are saying here in this article. Newsweek. Yeah, Antifa waging civil war on November 4. Well, that's according to right-wing conspiracy. God, these mainstream media outlets, so unbelievably leftist. They putting out all of the propaganda. How long have they been supporting what is, what amounts to a terrorist group? Antifa causing so much violence, beating people up. And we have mainstream media supporting these thugs, stupid thugs who care about nothing. But, well, many of them, yeah, they are the agent provocateurs getting paid. Money, money, money. That's all that matters. Money, money, money. But Newsweek, they actually claim Antifa is a group of young, well, <laughs> as you read this, it's kind of like a group of young innocents who just don't want fascism in America. Oh my God. They don't know that it's, that it is actually an international organization a communist organization to bring in communism? They don't know that? Of course they do. But they have to present it as that Antifa, well, they're the justice warriors and it's the alt-right, those white supremacists, those neo-Nazis, they're the ones who are uh, inspiring the violence and it's an it's a right-wing conspiracy for these Antifa protests on November 4th when Antifa actually has called for, on their own website, refusefascism.com. 
Trump-Pence.org, November 4, it begins. This nightmare must end. The Trump-Pence regime must go. November 4, it begins. Yes. November 4, it begins. And they're actually uh, right there on the highway stopping traffic. No choice but to totally destroy North Korea. This is our moronic bully, immature uh, president who, you know, I mean, selected to be in the White House to bring about also uh, the, the real possibility of nuclear war against North Korea. Wow, isn't that a great thing that Antifa can use? No, I'm sorry. Trump was not elected, and Trump is playing his role. November 4, it begins. The cities where these protests will be held are Seattle, Portland, San Francisco Bay Area, Los Angeles, Austin, Atlanta, Omaha, uh, Chicago, Cleveland, New York City, Boston, Philadelphia. And Pittsfield, Massachusetts, Western Massachusetts, yeah. Got a lot of fascists out there, huh? Jesus. It's such incredible. Uh, it's a lie. Propaganda. Get organized for November 4. Leaflets, leaflets posters, graphics here. I'll link below um, where you can get all of your, all of your propaganda to hang up in your city to get more and more people involved in madness, lunacy. Nothing good on either side. Um, but yes, this is their website. November 4 begins. The Trump-Pence regime must go. We will gather in the streets and public squares of cities and towns across this country. At first, many thousands declaring that this whole regime is illegitimate. And then we will not stop until all our single demand is met, which is this nightmare must end. The Trump-Pence regime must go. And we will continue day after day, night after night, thousands becoming hundreds of thousands, and then millions, determined to act to put a stop to the grave danger that the Trump-Pence regime poses to the world by demanding that this whole regime be removed from power they are as legitimate as any of our regimes in the past. But I guess those liberal leftists don't see it that way. Um, all right. I want to play a few minutes of Show Me Baby, his video that he posted on November 4, uh, six hours ago. Important information. Now, before I play this, um, section of what he is talking about and I will link below to everything so if you want to watch the full video you can. Now many people will claim oh you're fear-mongering. No this is not fear-mongering and those people who write those comments are you really scared? Are you scared? Are you are you like filled with fear that you have to write underneath people's videos that they're fear-mongering when they're just trying to put out information and the information that I want to uh, stress is don't get involved in any of this. Don't get involved at all. And let those on the alt-right and the alt-left, Antifa and the alt-right, let them just battle it out with one another. You could have your ideas about Antifa and you may very well be right and you may want to show up based on principle, but there ain't no principle going on here. This is the staged play. Wanting, they want chaos, they want violence. So you show up, you'll unwittingly be complicit with all of what is taking place here. Sorry for the moped outside. Why are mopeds so loud? 
Why are mopeds so loud? Can't they make them quiet? Okay, here, show me, baby. He has important information. Um, and again, I want to say that all of these sites, even Newsweek and all of what is taking place, it may very well turn out to be a whole lot of nothing. But when you have Antifa that is actually uh, posting in newspapers across the country, these kinds of ads, you know how expensive this is? In the New York Times, do you know how expensive this is? These young uh, folks have that kind of money? Wow! That should beg questions as well. All right, Show Me Baby has something important to tell you. Um, and I've been doing this stuff a long time. I get a lot of intel from people, and I'm going to deliver some of that intel right now publicly. Um, there is warnings going out about November 4th and Antifa uh, riots in certain cities. I've got some information pertinent to that, and I'm going to leave it here. Um, there is a bit of a stand down order with some of the militias, and I'm going to agree with it because of what information I'm getting right here. I'm about ready to read and letting the, the numbers and the video come up. Um, I've done a lot of things over the years to prepare people for bad times, including um, most famously probably the, the open carry movement out of Texas. Um, this, in my mind, has been to prepare people uh, for years with what's going down. I don't know if this has to do with the, the release of the JFK information or um, whatever, but there are plans to start a civil war in this country. We've been warning about that for a while. And this is coming from uh, several people that I get information from over the years. And, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but um, there, are, there is planned riots in several different cities. I've got times and locations that I'm getting ready to deliver. Um, so a lot of the militias are going to be standing down um, and protecting their families. And I also know that there are going to be many out there. Uh, there are going to be many out there uh, with video cameras and intel sharing. So, without further ado, I'm going to read you the message that I got. I'll put it out there for everybody. Antifa riot scheduled for November 4th, 2017. The information below is gathered from Antifa flyers posted in cities across America advising their plan to riot on November 4th, 2017. Citizens avoid these locations at all times indicated. Share to friends and family if they live in these cities or if anyone will be traveling there. Seattle, Washington, time 12 p.m. location, 4th Avenue, James Street. Seattle City Hall Plaza. Portland, Oregon, time 2 p.m. location, Salmon St. Foundation. I'm sorry. Salmon Street Fountain, San Francisco, California, 3 p.m. location, Union Square. Los Angeles, California, 1 p.m. location, Parachute Square. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 2 p.m. location, Thomas Paine Plaza, 1401, John F. Kennedy Boulevard. Honolulu, Hawaii, time 9.30 a.m., location, Alamona Park, EWA side. Cleveland, Ohio. Time 1 p.m. Public Square, Chicago, Illinois. 1 p.m. Location 219 South Dearborn Federal Plaza, Boston, Massachusetts. 4 p.m. Location First Franklin Street Shoppers Plaza, Austin, Texas. 1 p.m. Location 422 Guadalupe Street Republic Square Park, Atlanta, Georgia. 4 p.m. Location. Euclid and Moreland Avenue, Northeast, Little Five Points, Finlay Plaza. And it came with this message. I think some of those cities are going to be worse than others. Um, it's just going to be a matter of what's going on in those particular areas and those particular cities. Um, 
The message also reads, I just got off the phone with a friend. Looks like the new Black Panthers organization has confirmed they will be part of no November 4th riots and chaos. BLM has just received almost $25 million for weapons and other tools to supply groups that plan to attack white people on November 4th. It is expected... <coughs> Is it? it is expected there will be over 5 million people in six states. The FBI has seen a 1,200% uptick in registered Democrats buying weapons and mass ammunition. The groups called Antifa has now reached over 800,000 members, mostly kids from the ages of 16 through 28 throughout the country. Facebook will be used as the most cost-effective way to transmit locations to attack. MS-13 has pledged all their members will join the BLM with many other gangs. We have less time than you think, and it is possible attacks may begin on Halloween night around 12 midnight. I have heard reports uh, that President Trump is very aware of what is going to happen and knows a scumba is directly behind this with the Clintons. Most of us are aware of the corruption that has been going on, and to be honest, the Democrats know what's coming and have no other choice than to destroy this country to avoid being prosecuted for what they've done. Truth be told, they never figured Trump would win and would rather destroy this country than face what they have done. Trillions of dollars have been spent to change the face of this country. Please, patriots of the next week, you should really consider leaving the city if you are a white or patriot. The source has told me that Trump has deputized over 4 million people, 4 million military people, and are training with special forces. He also may make a public speech asking the militias and patriots to stand down and not get involved as they will be able to tell who is on whose side. I would use the standard code of preserve and protect your property and family. I truly never thought this could happen in this country, but as I look around the world and see wars everywhere and civil unrest in many countries, I guess it can happen here. I will tell you this, I will be heading for the mountains on November 1st as I will be with good, strong patriots. My final thought is that if you can escape out of the big cities and be with friends that weekend, I would strongly suggest it, strongly consider it. My motto is simple, better be safe than dead. I may, I pray many of you listen and take this uh, as real as it gets. Like I said, the New World Order will not have mercy on anyone. Now, I'm taking this with a grain of salt. I get, um, I get updates from people all the time. We know that there's already been plans going for uh, November 4th. And it is that time of year. Um, remember, remember the 5th of November. And uh, there is unrest. There is a lot of people upset about politics and stuff. And I will say, you know, there's a lot of anti-government stuff that I've been a part of over the last few years, even like trying to get back our, our gun rights in Texas and other places, um, just so that we are prepared for things of this nature. Um, I don't want to cause any fear or any panic with anybody. And, you know, don't come back and say that um, I didn't tell you so or that I said something was going to happen that, that doesn't happen. Hopefully the information being put out there uh, it actually is able to bring a stop to this. But in all the things that, that we've done um, in our activism and in trying to build people up, it's always to build the public up. It's always to build the interest of we the people so that we have strength in our individuality and in our rights. And I know that there's a lot of people that agree with me on a lot of issues, but also fall into like the Antifa side or the BLM side. If you're, if you're enacting violence on the public or you're stopping somebody from traveling, you're, you are violating their rights. You are doing bad things. It is not good to make, um, make war on the people that you're trying to bring onto your side. It doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, I would say that if people are going to attack and they're going to cause violence, I'm going to ask why you don't do it to the people that you're actually upset with. We never see these people attack the police or anything. They attack people driving in their cars. They attack businesses and, and riot and just tear shit up for no reason. Um, that's not going to gain you any favors with the public. It's not going to help you out in any way. It is a, a communist manifesto, in my opinion. And this is the way that Stalin, Mao Zedong, and others tried to take over and did take over was by causing violence and putting people in such fear 
that they stood down and allowed for that socialism and communism to take over in their countries. Uh, America is still an armed nation, and people will be protecting their families and protecting their cities. And I'm going to agree and tell my friends not to get in the middle of this, because if these people want to attack the public, you probably don't want to get caught up in it, where you look like you're part of the people attacking the public. And um, if they want to have a war with the police, then we will see which gang is stronger, I guess. Um, so anyway, again, take this with a grain of salt. This is the information that I have coming in. And same type of information I have and why I was able to go to the hurricane and why we were able to attack um, you know, certain problems like standing down the gun control over the last few years. So, Okay. Um, Level-headed. And he's also not fear-mongering. He's just passing along information. And I agree with what he is saying. Just don't show up at all. Um, I do have to say this. That when I said that this was the New York Times, I don't actually know. Where was that? Here. I don't actually know if this was the New York Times. I did read an article about Antifa and all the money that they have and they putting ads in the New York Times. So I just wanted to make that clear. All right. Um, but uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, listen to even the John Birch Society is talking about November 4th and what he has to say. <laughs> so on November 4th. Wow, it's playing. Stay okay. And tell your Good. children to do likewise. One of the key ingredients of a large scale violence is to first get as many people together as demonstrators or observers, then spark a riot. Stay home. If they do not have many people show up, it will put a damper on their plans. If your children are away at college, call them and ask them not to participate in or go anywhere near any demonstrations on campus. Be prepared to defend your property legally from damage and destruction if it appears your property will be close to any demonstration. The closer you will be, the more you will need to prepare. A bucket of water and a bucket of sand can be made ready. These can immediately extinguish a small fire lit by a burning object. Do not engage with the demonstrators. It can only get out of hand very quickly. Simply be prepared to defend your family and your property, but do not initiate any action yourself. Use your cell phone to report activity. It may become useful for the local authority later on. By this, we mean at your property, not down the street at the demonstration. One of the things that can be done to quell violence in the future is to contact your congressman and ask them why they're not investigating the tax-deductible foundations that are financing these violent organizations. They are financing violence, criminal activity. The least the government can do is to revoke the tax deductibility of any foundation helping these violent groups. In the 1960s and 70s, Government reports on the leaders and organizations of subversive groups helped expose them, and it was very helpful in stopping their organizing for violence. Finally, get involved with our support your local police and keep them independent committees. They are the well, he talks about how this could be the, the violence that brings in um, federal law enforcement into local uh, communities. This could be the nail in the coffin. Now again, what Show Me Baby said, um, all of that information, he said he's taking it with a grain of salt. I can't confirm any of that information that MS-13 gang members are joining in, uh, the Black Panthers are joining in, the uh, call to beat up white people is still on the table. I don't know. All I do know is that if you are near or live in these cities, I would really avoid these protests 
because they probably will become violent. And he says that, you know, some cities are going to be worse than others. My hunch, Seattle, Portland, uh, San Francisco. You guys are probably in for quite a show. That's just my opinion. But I hope nothing happens. I hope everybody stays safe. And I do want to also clarify what I said earlier. Just let Antifa and the alt-right duke it out themselves. But I meant the alt-right who are also funded. The agent provocateurs on the alt-right side. All right, guys, I'll link below to everything. And I hope that you're all doing well. And I hope that you all stay safe.